After nearly a year since its initial Early Access release, Red Hook's Darkest Dungeon is finally out. Does the game fulfill its promise of unforgiving difficulty and deep gameplay? Or is it simply another indie title that puts style over substance? Let's find out. There is a place beneath those ancient ruins in the moor that calls out to the boldest among them. Darkest Dungeon focuses on the unforgiving difficulty of every encounter only for the most hardcore of players. As the name suggests, it's a turn-based dungeon crawler with elements from roguelike subgenre. And by that we mean randomly generated content, permadeath and a tough process of getting into the game. The rules are pretty straightforward at first, but getting all the nuances, understanding the abilities and using them in battle to our advantage and even traveling take time to fully master and involve a lot of trial and error in the process. The game is so demanding that we didn't even manage to clear the tutorial the first, or for that matter, the second time around. Various classes, buffs and debuffs, items, strategies of preserving our party's mental health to order in which our heroes are standing. The list of things to get a hang of goes on and on. Soon after installing the game, you'll discover that Darkest Dungeon offers much more than the unique art style and a grim atmosphere. Similarly to From Software's Dark Souls, this is the type of game where backtracking and death are a large part of the core gameplay. And every failure is supposed to be a lesson, and every victory gives a great dose of satisfaction. Even when you somehow manage to complete the game, there is still a much harder New Game Plus mode to try out, which is more than enough to keep you occupied until Dark Souls 3 comes out. We dug for months, years, an eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. One of the game's strengths is without doubt the deep voice of our narrator, bringing to mind such games as Transistor or Bastion. Wayne June's performance is outstanding and his narration makes us truly feel like we're on a desperate quest to vanish the seemingly unstoppable forces of evil. Even when he comments on the most normal of things, we feel like something evil is unfolding and we need to brace ourselves. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. The narration accompanies the art style and music splendidly, which also should be pointed out as game's strong points. The static graphics never get old, and we're constantly surprised by the game's imaginative and yet hideous monsters. Chris Boras, in charge of the art style, takes cues from Lovecraft and Hellboy comics, making our journey to the darkest of dungeons look like a live fantasy horror comic book. Even when we're not battling the creatures of evil, uh, just simply resupplying in the depressing town of Hamlet, it reminds us that the odds are never in our favor. And speaking of resupplying, there's never enough gold, bandages, or anything to make us feel safe and well prepared. If you miss hoarding potions, we suggest going back to Skyrim. Darkest Dungeons requires a lot of strategy, and most of all, accepting that most of our heroes will die, before we even understand the fraction of how the game works. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Darkest Dungeon is a shining, or in that case covered with darkness, example of the merits of crowdfunding. The game would never come out if it was up to a big developer who is only interested in paychecks and familiar franchises. Fans of the roguelike genre won't mind a small focus on the story and are sure to appreciate the difficulty. However, Darkest Dungeon is not a title for everyone. The game punishes our mistakes severely, as mentioned before, but a part of the difficulty is that a lot of it is simply random. And that can drive some people crazy, just like the characters in the game to be honest. When entering the world of Darkest Dungeon, many hours will seem to be wasted when you haven't even made any progress at all, and are still figuring things out. It is a game of trial and error, and a title that reminds us that there is no shame in using a tutorial every once in a while. And in that case, we mean a lot. We're not just advertising our game guide here, mind you. Whether the cryptic nature of the game is a good thing or an unfair attempt to increase the difficulty, it is a matter of debate. One thing is certain, Darkest Dungeon is hard and while many will instantly fall in love with it, some will utterly and completely hate it. 
We, however, enjoyed every single moment of this amazing RPG, its grim art style, its depth, and the addictive satisfaction of besting a dungeon or a boss after many attempts. We are not the flame, they will cry out. We are but moths, and we are doomed. And their screams will echo amidst the pitiless Cyclopean stones of the darkest dungeon. So, to sum up, Darkest Dungeon is a challenging, yet beautiful title. If you love games such as Dark Souls or Bloodborne, you're gonna love this one. For more coverage on games and other stuff, stay tuned to GamePressure.com. See ya!